So I'm in love with chocolate. So in today's video, we are gonna be making a delicious fudge espresso chocolate cake. We are gonna be making it in the Instant Pot because it's super simple. So let's go spice things up. All right, so we are going to work on our cake batter. So what we will want is one cup of flour, one fourth cup of cocoa powder, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of sugar, one tablespoon of espresso instant coffee. Now I'm just gonna whisk this together, all these dry ingredients. And now I'm gonna add one third cup of oil. You can use whatever oil you want. I am using canola oil. And two large eggs. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now whisk this together. And then to go along with the instant espresso, um, you'll wanna put two tablespoons of hot water or you can just do one shot of espresso but this is what i do and then of course mix that with the batter now the key to making this cake fudgy is one cup of chocolate chips and then you'll just want to fold the chocolate chips into the batter now you can use whatever kind of chocolate chips you want you can use semi-sweet this is dark chocolate because i love dark chocolate but um, you can use semi-sweet, that is also a good option, or milk chocolate chips. Okay, so now I have my cake pan, and I'm going to spray it with cooking spray. And I'm going to take my cake batter and just put it right in the cake pan. And then take some aluminum foil and cover the pan. So it's nice and tight around the pan. All right, so now I have my red sling and I'm just gonna put my cake pan on top of my red sling. If you wanna know where to purchase uh, the sling or the cake pan, I will link it in the description box below. And then I'm gonna take one cup of water and pour it in my pot. And then just take my cake and the sling and put it right in the pot as well. And of course I put the pot into the base and we'll want to put the lid on. Now turn your vent to ceiling. Okay, so we are going to press the cake button. We want to cook it for 30 minutes and we want to cook it for the, on the more side, not normal or less. We want to cook it on more, so it's the high level. All right, so then we are going to let it naturally release for 15 minutes. Okay, so now we are going to release the valve and then take the lid off and then we're going to take the cake out of the pot and then we're going to take the foil off and now we're just going to let the pan cool and once it cools um, the cake will kind of separate from the pan and it'll make it a lot easier to get out of the pan. Okay, so once it has cooled down, you can go ahead and basically kind of flip it over. Now I have to try to get it out gently. Ah, perfect. So now you can go ahead and put whatever frosting you want on it. Um, I like to do chocolate ganache a lot of times, but it is already rich in a lot of flavor. So you can just take um, some cocoa powder and just put it in here and kind of just like sprinkle it. Just kind of like this. Makes it look nice and fancy. So there you have it. Your chocolate fudge cake made in the Instant Pot. Well, if you make this cake for anybody, it is super rich and decadent. They will love it and they will love you for it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you'd like to see any more videos, click these links right here, and have a wonderful day. Bye, and see you in the next video.